What's happened so far in the project is, is that there's been a concept design developed. There has been a number of principles um, which have applied, one being about the healthy river, one about access and connectivity, one about weaving the stories of the cultures here in Christchurch together, and also providing economic catalysts for the area. The people of Christchurch said, hey, we want a compact city, we want a green city, we want a distinctive city, we want a great city to live in, to work in, to visit and to play, and we want an accessible city. And accessible means, and our understanding is, that it's easy and safe to get around for people of all ages and all abilities. OK, well, here's the concept plan that we've been evaluating. We have the promenade, which actually goes right through Victoria Square. It actually crosses uh, up to the playground and then right out to Avon Loop to Fitzgerald Ave. So it's a real linear sort of connection that we hope will not just be moving people but also allows those businesses and, and even residential activities and other things to sort of spill into that promenade. So it's a real important part of an inner city having that sort of public long space along the river. Well, we've earned the true right of the riverbank by the Antigua boat sheds, and what we've got here really is a very busy one-way system. This is going to be removed. This kind of traffic will not flow through here anymore. So the opportunity here is to bring that promenade in, that, that shared space for people. It's definitely dedicated to people um, moving by foot, <laughs> really. What the intended priority is to, is to put pedestrians at the highest level. So some of the changes that will occur along the Avon River Precinct should definitely have an influence on driver behaviour, the way in which drivers actually come across and cross the river. We need to design the roads so that it makes it quite difficult to travel fast. So we narrow down the lanes as much as we can, provide alternative cycleways. So right now we're actually on the Source to Sea cycle way and um, this area here will have walking, cycling um, alongside each other, obviously separated but um, within visual distance. This is one of my favourite spots in here with those trees creating that little avenue. Right in front of me is Durham Street Bridge, a, a very, very busy road, a one-way system that will remain a one-way system. The bridge is tall enough for people to, to kayak through easily, but it's also tall enough to walk through. So by creating a boardwalk that just slips underneath and, and then sets you up to walk towards the Bridge of Remembrance, and it's an amazing feature to look at. It, it really sets up the bridge as it should be seen. Hopefully the kids will go right through underneath without having to cross a busy road, and it's an experience in itself. The bridges will become belvedere's viewing platforms, so people will be able to stand on those and view longer lengths up and down the Avon River. Through here is the what we are calling the terraces, which was the old strip. That's one of the areas that excites me. I think that we've got a great opportunity to actually enhance the area and make it better than it ever was, and really is a hotbed of activity with business, people, nature, all coexisting. The Bridge of Remembrance is associated with what we see on the other side of the river here, which is the Remembrance Park, or Park of Remembrance, with um, the soldier statue and looking towards the river and the bridge. And the idea here is to create an environment that's actually a lot softer. We want to retain that idea of sort of tree canopy, dappled light. So there will be lots still left for people to recognise as it used to be, but there will be new things as well. And ideally we have a little area for a stage, so we have the ability for the two sides to really interact with each other. So that is the intention of this space, two spaces that work together as one, but have their own sort of identity within that. This is probably the most important heritage building that we have right along the river, the Canterbury Provincial Chambers. It's been damaged in the earthquake, the stone buildings have been damaged quite severely, but the wooden portions of the building are fairly intact and there is a move to rebuild it. The setting has changed dramatically from its first sort of built environment and what we want to do is just not replacing what was there in terms of giving it the same river setting, but actually honouring um, its space and, and making sure that new buildings adjacent to it actually move just slightly away from it and allow it to actually have some breathing space. Now Victoria Square has always had an important place in the history and activities of the city. 
that was used in the early days where the Ngātahu people came and actually sold produce to the settlers. So it was, in those days it was known as Market Square. Victoria Square, that's one of our hearts to our city, along with Cathedral Square. So we want to make Victoria Square a great civic heart. With the Crown Plaza gone, it's now really the gateway into the central city. It'll be the forecourt to a lot of what is our cultural heart. So it's really important we get that right, and really important that we can bring people back to that space as well. I think this is going to be a great place that acknowledges some history, but it is forward-looking as well, and it'll become a place of welcome, and it will symbolise some of the values of the Christchurch people about hospitality and looking after your guests, and looking after the people who live here as well, you know. So we've just come across from um, Captain Cook, and on that axis, there is also the Edmunds Band Rotunda, a historic building which is currently in a, not a good shape at all, but it will be rebuilt. On that axis also sits the PGC building, which has um, sadly collapsed and there were fatalities, so it's quite a sensitive site to deal with within that sort of environment. But it, um, the rotunda and the new axis with the bridge across um, give us a nice setting to actually provide a structure to the space and, and a space that can be a little bit more contemplative. The poplars are iconic. It's an amazing setting they have. It's an avenue that is just, they just frame the river. And through those poplars, there will be a bridge going across onto the new family park, the big playground. We want this to be a real great playground for all ages, from pre preschool children right up to grandparents. Big totra stumps have been found um, as part of the digging up foundations and things like that. And they are magical structures and, and we are thinking about pulling them out of the ground literally and using them as climbing structures or something that reflects that, something that actually reconnects you with this place and, and it's, a, it's a process of learning so you come back each time and rediscover something new.